cool. Jess, are you excited to end the book? Because okay. we just had a little discussion before we went on record. <laughs> yes. I am ready for this book to be over. <laughs> Welcome to the Book Pottery Club podcast. I'm Jessica and I'm from Canada. And I'm Leah from Germany. Together, we dive deep into the world of fantasy books, exploring new stories and universes. Join us on this reading adventure. Whether you're a seasoned reader or new to the world of fantasy, there's a spot for you right here at our club. Don't forget to subscribe and join us on this exciting journey through fantastical worlds. Welcome back to the Book Pottery Club. We are your hosts, Jessica and Leah. Please follow the show on all social media platforms at the Book Pottery Club. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. And on today's episode, we are finally wrapping up Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. So the chapters we will be covering include 47 through to 66, um, and that's the end of the book. So uh, get ready to listen to this episode. Cool. Jess, are you excited to end the book? Because okay. we just had a little discussion before we went on record. <laughs> yes. I am ready for this book to be over. I don't, we kind of stayed off. <laughs> okay, we stayed off social media, mm. like around this book. Like I, I didn't watch anything on TikTok. I didn't watch anything on like YouTube or Instagram. And I want to know people's opinion to see if our opinion of this book was unique. Because if you watched last episode and the episode before that, we were kind of a little bit disappointed mm -hmm. in the book in general. And I want to know if this is a unique opinion or if other people have this. So um let's just get started with general thoughts leah yeah. what are your thoughts on this book the uh, last 20 chapters what was it like <laughs> actually same thing like i was wondering uh if actually is it just us is it because we're hyping us each other up that that we don't like this book or we we are not as impressed by the book as we thought we would be so i would i also like to know if others uh think the same general thoughts is uh Yeah, that's what we just discussed, like, really, really briefly. It's just, at the end, it was really good. Like, the last, not even the whole last part, it was just the last, what is it, like, three or four chapters where I was like, oh, I'm actually into it again. I'm, like, yeah. super sucked in the book. But everything before that is just a long stretch. It's just going on and going on. And Violet is fighting again. And Violet is hating Zayden but loves him. And then again, the vibrants come. Of course, she has a solution. Of course, everybody is good. It's just, ah, uh, what are your thoughts? Like that's my like, like conclusion. I'm over this book, and I'm. I hope the third one will be better. Honestly, uh, but it's just I don't know. After reading Iron Flame, I think I wouldn't even rec like I wouldn't maybe recommend the series if this like how do I say it? It's It had it had Akutar status in the first book, but now it hasn't. It doesn't anymore. Okay, <laughs> it's out. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was long. So what's what's what are your thoughts? <laughs> no, okay, I, that's fair. That's fair. I would say though, before we demote it completely, you okay. need to read some other romance fantasy books, and I'm really curious to see where this one ranks because you haven't read a lot of them, like the yeah. newer ones. Um. I'm really curious to see where it ranks because I've read some pretty bad ones. So if this is not, <laughs> like, if this isn't even close to Akatar, I'm a little bit worried about the rest of the books that are available. But anyways, okay, it's fine. Okay. Fine. We'll see your thoughts on other books. Right. I'm really curious. I'm really curious to see your thoughts on this. Um, cool. For me, yeah, I felt the same. Like, usually the second book lives up to the hype. Because they're they're usually pretty good. Always second books, like you already know the characters, you already know the world. Now you can really get into plot. This one didn't necessarily do that for me, and I don't know if it's because she wrote it so quickly. Like yeah. she, I don't. I think she wrote it in six months or something. Like she just because of how successful Fourth Wing was, she really wanted to get the next book out. So, mm. um, maybe the next one will be better. Yeah. Have you uh, heard have the rumors about the the release date of the third? Yeah, January 1st or something, like January 2024. Is that what Oh, really? Is that what, is oh, that right? I, no, I heard com something completely uh, different. Like, <laughs> I heard oh. December, uh, I heard uh, December 2nd next year. Oh, was it? So oh. Yeah, yeah like, also something year. completely different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 
think, mine's wrong. Yeah, mine's I wrong. think totally yours are wrong. The mine. <laughs> I think in an interview she said she will take her time uh, this time and write the book uh, a little slower, which I actually appreciate. It feels now that you mention it, I didn't know that she was writing it at six months. I thought she would have it. Um, she was having it already done and just split it up into two books. But now, yeah, I I see it. It feels a little bit oh rushed. Like the whole book is just suddenly just rushed, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you looking up? Second, I just want to confirm to write. I, I just want to confirm like how long it took her to write it. But I know mm. it was a very short period of time. Like it was a short term between. So I don't know exactly. Don't quote me on six months, but it was like very short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In between books, be. and she like was also touring. She was touring for her fourth wing while she was writing this book. So oh, she wasn't damn. even at home. She was like doing stuff. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. It makes so, so much sense. Through. Let's yeah, see yeah, let's if we can through. redeem this. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, sorry. Let's see if we can redeem this book by going through the chapter by chapter. Like maybe our opinion will change when we read it slowly <laughs> and like our thoughts on it. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> where where are we left? Um, Not convinced. Stay with us, everyone. Yeah. I think we'll come back. I think. We'll have a slightly higher rating at the end of our degree. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, I don't even know how to start. Okay, chapter 47. Yeah. Um, um, so we just um, ended with 46 that Kat was um, calling out Violet for the fight, for, you know, sparing it out. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the professors gave him a chance to do, like, to hit each other because they hate each other, whatever. Um, and then obviously Cat challenges Violet. These are one of those moments where I thought, oh, it's so obvious. It's so freaking obvious. Anyway, uh, yeah. I, you can only challenge one person. They were yeah. like, you can only fight one person. I was like, so predictable. Who's going to yeah. fight who? Like, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, um, too. Also... I want to add that note that it was kind of messed up what Kat said while they were fighting. She's like, because Zayden taught her how to fight as well. Oh, and she's yeah. like, oh, I know all the moves and I know what he <laughs> likes. I was like, oh. That was awkward. <laughs> you... It's awkward. I don't, know, like, uh... I don't like this whole... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, I don't like the X's like mm. the near close exes together it's just like i don't like it <laughs> what about you i don't, I don't like it either it's just I, I i don't i can't even say i get it because i was really never in this situation but it's just it's it's so ugly like i if i would ever meet the uh new let's say a new girlfriend of my my boyfriend i would never be like oh you know what um I taught him this thing, and also we did this and that. It's like it, it just, it's just so unnatural. Like I would never. <laughs> I, I mean, you can be mean in different ways. First of all, I wouldn't be mean at all. Like I wouldn't even bother to be with this person. But like, if I wanted to be me, like there's so much, so many better ways than this. Like this is just petty. This is just really low. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> like so petty. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like it either. Also, I want to I wanna know something. Mm. Why did she use her powers? Like, she, Kat can amplify your emotions. Yeah. Why did she do that if it was causing Violet to kill her? I was so confused. I was like, does she want to die? Like, why was she <laughs> causing Violet to become so angry that she wants to kill her? I, it didn't make sense. It was, like, yeah. not computing. Yeah, yeah. True, actually. So... She was just amplifying her rage. It's like, girl, are you okay in that? Because <laughs> she is trained. <laughs> well, and she can have lightning. Like, she can just kill you. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. Um, I, I didn't. Know. That I no understanding of. Yeah. So. But then. Yeah. Can you go say ahead, it? Like, chapter 48. Yeah. No, no. Zayden oh, yeah. shows up, breaks him up. Oh. <laughs> Satan, of course. Um, <laughs> Who else? And then this is, of course. Yeah. Okay, so then I think yeah, like there's spicy scene after that. Yeah. I don't know what. Um. Honestly, I didn't expect this, 
but maybe I did. I don't know. It was, it was just, yeah. Uh, it was just so. Like, how did you feel about this? I want to know. I didn't like. Okay, it's unnatural. So first of all, yeah. you're fighting with his ex, and then he's like, you know what? I don't like her. I don't care. Let's just have sex. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> You know, like, like, wait a second, what are you doing? She just almost killed your ex. They had a sweaty fight over there, and you're like, well, let me get down on you. Say, like, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, for me, the whole spice scene was also like two out of five. Like, I don't know. It, was necessary it wasn't yeah. even good it's just nah nah mm -mm. <laughs> yeah and then was this the one on the throne i can't remember yeah. or is it the one yeah, after this it was the one on the throne so cool <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> also think so so wait. Drop a... sorry sorry there's what? there was one cringe yeah. thing also that Oh my god, when when Xayden let her let her in his thoughts and he could she could see like what he was thinking while doing his thing. And then after that she was like, Oh gosh. She was bending over on the throne, it's like, come on, let's do what you thought. It's like, oh no, stop. It's just getting more awkward. I don't like this. <laughs> anyway. Wait. There is like there are yeah. some major bombs on this one because yeah. this is where they're saying that Zayden can read minds or is an intrinsic, right? Because of this scene. Is this the one where they're like, oh, he can read her mind? Did you see that? No, no, no. It wasn't like he wasn't reading um uh her mind. He was, he was sharing her mind. He was sharing his own mind. So she could see what oh, he was thinking. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't get uh, that he was intrinsic here. No, no. That would be like a major bomb during okay. the spicy I scene. Thought... That's what I thought. I was like, you know what? They tried to keep it interesting. The other thing that came up on this one was him being the king of Terrandor. Yeah, Like, kind technically. Of. I know it's a, he's yeah. the Duke of Horatia, but by default, he's also the king of Terrandor because his dad or yeah. whatever, before Navarre they were. So, yeah. We're getting some like he has power. He's from the royal family, like which I think we were we talked about this in previous episodes that we figured out he was kind of like like everyone listens to him, so I'm yeah, not really yeah, sure yeah. what he is, but he's something. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, important. this scene did not do it for me. The whole thing on the throne, I was like, oh. <laughs> next, please, next. Oh you know, yeah, next, yeah. The, Chapter forty nine. Yeah, um, let's let's just continue. Ah, also wait. Also, they, he was engaged to Cat. Like just this little information. Like they were actually yeah. this far in the relationship, but weren't compatible. Okay. Anyway, Chapter forty nine. They were betrothed. Yeah, but wait, yeah. I read that they were betrothed. So they were technically promised to each other. But like by their family, it's not necessarily him. I don't know. It's not I engaged. Think it kind of makes okay. sense for the alliance. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Well, it's like it they're might... engaged, but like, like a yeah, forced engagement. Yeah, like the in the good old so... days. <laughs> yeah. Is it betrothed? Betrothed? I don't know what this book is that. Betrothed. Yeah, 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 thought. yeah. Betrothed, or like promised yeah. to another one. However, they use those words. Whatever they use in the book. Um. 49? Yeah. Are we shocked that V, Violet, and Catriona are in a squad together? So shocked? shocked, Jess. No. I, no. Yep. I didn't expect this at all. Like, zero. I thought 100% they will not be in one squad. And then they got in one squad. It's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Um, and then, so, like, her and... Like so, in this, they're in a squad together, and then she's working mm. with Dane, and she's still yeah. mad at Dane, mind you. Like she's still not happy with Dane, and they're trying to transcribe, yeah, the book, yeah, from the together. writers, and they realize 
yeah. And I she came on like so Dane leaves. Or like they're transcribing it. And then Dane she's still mad at Dane and doesn't really trust him. And whatever. Yeah. She has issues with it. Okay, I wanted to know I don't know if this is the time to say this, but I don't know where it is, but um never mind. Okay, I'll keep going. Dane No 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 no, no say it, say it. Translating say it. the book. And no 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 I'll get to save it. Did okay. you think that um no, no. Did you think that um, Violet would figure out? Did you think, like, did you predict that the the translation of the book would be dragon? Were the answer to the words? Like, I didn't uh, expect that. I was like, yeah, huh. yeah. Actually, I didn't expect that either because it was so concentrated on the first six and six here, six there. It's like, ah, okay, obviously yeah. it has to be the people, but yeah, it was dragons at the end. So. It makes sense, but I didn't expect it. So that was a nice turn. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. But yeah. I want to note that I think Dane needs a redemption arc. Because still, what we hear from Dane's side of the story, he yeah. wasn't that bad. And now yeah. actually, I like your note here that like Violet was kind of actually the dick. Like Violet was actually being mean. Like she's yeah. blaming him for everything. And it's like, come on, man. How? How? Like, I I noted down, like, how is she making him responsible for Liam's death? How? Because, first of all, I would would blame, uh, obviously, the Venom and the Vyvern, or maybe Dane's dad, or anybody else. Like, Dane himself? What? It's like, it doesn't make sense to me, really. She's just a bitch at this point. Sorry. It is what it is. Yeah. She's being mean to him. She's yeah. being mean to Dane, hundred yeah. percent. Like poor yeah. guy. Um, I felt bad for him. And then we have like, um, like I think Jacinia in the next books will play a bigger role. Like she already played kind of a role in this one. And you have like she's getting together with Sawyer, which is mm. you know nice. I yeah, guess. another relationship. Yeah. Um. And uh. Yeah, I then think that's it for Violet 49. comes to the realization that they, Yeah, that's it. But like Violet kind of comes to the realization that they can only raise or that if they raise the ward stones then the flyers won't have their powers anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's like the griffins. Like that would be a problem for them. So Yeah. That's in the next one. Um Yeah. So chapter fifty. Oh yeah, fe- um, the chapter fifty was just a quick. You know, he was, uh, she was uh, training with Felix. Now she can shoot like, not arrows. What did I wrote down? Arrows. I thought I was uh, thinking about lightning. Sorry, <laughs> not arrows from her finger. Uh, lightning. Like she has this conduit. Now she can like stretch her lightning um, power or energy power from a finger or whatever. Uh, and also she uh, hears that the Venom and Vyvern are keeping, like, coming closer to Eratia and that they are coming for them. So 50 was a quick chapter, just information yeah. dump. Uh, what is here happening? 51. Oh, yeah. Another filler, I think. They're just talking, like, Zayden and then Violet are talking about, like, how hopeless everything is. <clears throat> that he says they're under uh how do you say it outmatched they don't have enough people yeah uh yeah oh yeah and that and this is where actually uh violet figures out that the six are dragons and not people and that yeah griffins yeah would lose like their the powers chapters. yeah 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 that was quick through so chapter 52 they all chill at Bree's family house like that was weird like what how this <laughs> it's What's it's her sister too yeah like, me too yeah they preface it by saying though that they're chilling at their house because they're trying to bond between the flyers yeah and the riders <clears throat> like they want some bonding inner squad bonding because they're not getting along so this is yeah. supposed to help um and then so the dragons tell Violet mm. to tell them that she knows how to raise the wards, but by telling the griffins that they know how to raise the wards, they're telling them that they, they can't use their powers anymore. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I mean, it's fair, whatever. Like, there was only not for that many griffins in um, 
Eratia anyways. Like, they don't even live there. Like, whatever. You know, we're in yeah, the forest. Yeah. yeah, Screw fuck it. Them. <laughs> um, okay. Then they, I think I, just, I had this comment too. Like, yeah. Violet asked Arik about knowing old Lucerich. And he's like, wait, what? How would I know that, right? And I was like, <laughs> did you realize that nobody knows he's royal? Like, how do you know he's royal? I was so confused. <laughs> That <clears throat> right? That doesn't make any sense. Like, there's this whole continent, like this whole continent with one king that has two sons. One of them is dead and the other one is alive. As if, as if the whole continent does not know how this boy looks like. I'm sorry. At this point, it's really just, it's, it doesn't make sense. It, there's no logic behind it. Like, at least somebody just passing by would say, oh, wait, that's a king's son, right? <laughs> Nobody. Ugh. And also, there are a lot of older riders. Like, mm. did they not True. get stationed to protect the king at some point? Or the king came and visited? Like, they were, the king came to the, what was it? The, um, not parapet. What's it called? The, Oh, uh... Not parapet. Uh, threshing? Threshing, yeah. I think for threshing he came. Yeah, threshing. Oh, no, After no, threshing, it was... the king's there. Right? And yeah, he come... it... Sorry, sorry. It was the... the uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the day where they um, celebrate the unification. That was it. Sorry. That was the thing yeah. where he came. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he's yeah. around. You yeah. would see him. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't understand art. Okay, this guy's like... <laughs> Uh, oh yeah like what the and heck? also uh, Vizia suddenly a character out of nowhere gets more attention in the book like who who is Vizia suddenly and I knew from this moment like I feel like this is maybe this is a style that every other fantasy writer has but since I haven't read so many uh, this is something I, I noticed with Rebecca Yaros as soon as suddenly like out of nowhere a character gets attention that hasn't any attention at all before, that person will die a hundred percent. Because like she's trying to, you know, uh build up that uh I don't know, sympathy for that character and make it sad. I don't know. But it's just yeah. never sad to me. Like I, I couldn't care less about this person dying. Cause she was never he or he she was never a thing in the book anyway. So yeah, I knew it's over with yeah. her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, good prediction. Um, <laughs> I mean, I read it now, Venice? but like, yeah, wait, sorry, wait, I want. <laughs> okay, well, I want to know. Okay, this next point: the Venon, the Venon talking to Violet in her brain, or like in her sleep. Okay, is this crazy? Okay, so like the Venon's talking to her and saying like she will destroy the wards for love. Yeah. Um. Okay. And then we learned, we'll talk about it later, but we learned that Zayden's a Venon now, right? Like, so yeah. we learned that Zayden's a Venon. Yeah. Could it be that this person talking in her mind is Zayden? Like, from the future? I know this is a stretch. This is really a stretch. Oh. Because they said he's tan. Like, why did they give some type of body? Like, why would they give any type of body description of this character? And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God, Jess. This is... Oh, sorry. What? Oh, God, I'm sorry. Why is... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Sorry. <laughs> we'll just cut it out. Wait, I'll write down. Why do I have an alarm on at this time? <laughs> yeah, write down. Sorry. Fuck. And it was a good point. Good point. Like my bed. Yeah, this is a ghetto room. Um, <laughs> fuck me, man. Uh, okay, okay. Back to what you said. So you, right, oh, that's actually right. such a such a good prediction. So you think that that's my that's maybe future Xaden talking back to? Oh, I yeah. wish, Jess. I hope yeah. so much that you're right because I want something really villainous to happen. I want darkness. I want bad things it's so good so yeah because uh, i because i had the theory it's maybe cool. that uh that she is seeing his dreams 
about being turned because he was turned at the end. And it wasn't even oh. her own dreams, you know, because they are sharing mind and, oh. and thoughts. But then Taryn can see it too. And I don't know, like, it, yeah. it doesn't really play out really well. But your theory, I like it more. I go with that one. Because they, they described the skin and it was like the same as Zayden. And I was like, oh, but it's... Really? Oh, I didn't even pay attention that like to that. Same. Shit. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. That might be like a little bit far off. But yeah, um, and like saying that the, they did it for love. So yeah, <gasps> like the venom are definitely in their minds. So, uh huh. Oh my god! Wait. Oh, maybe your theory is right, Jess, because because she will turn for love. She will turn for love, Jess, because he is a venom. So she will turn a venom too because yeah. he, uh, she wants to be with him forever. <gasps> oh my god, I think you might be right yeah. here. I think he just dropped the That'd plot cool. twist. Yeah. Oh my god, please. So we go from enemy to lover to enemy to both enemies being the lovers. Yes. <laughs> that Do would it. be so cool. Come on, action. <laughs> I hope it happens. Yeah. Um, uh, cool. No, I nice. really hope that happens. Yeah, so that's anyway, that's my one thought. I have a couple other theories. Uh, okay, I wrote that down. Definitely. Okay, so, and this is where you realize, the next one is like when they have this assignment to go find the runes. I was like, this sounds like war games all over again. Or whatever <laughs> else they did, like squad battles. Yeah. <laughs> Squad Battle 2.0. Um, <laughs> it's the same again. So they track... it's just... Yeah, go ahead. But I knew, I knew someone was gonna die here. I don't know if you did, but I was like, yeah, this is like 100%. Squad Battle. Someone's gonna die, and of course, it was the one you picked. So <laughs> chapter yep. 53. Um, <laughs> of course, it's a cave. Of course, it's a cave. It has to be some scary place. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, um. Oh, oh yeah. We also learned a little bomb here mm. that so Sloane tells Violet if a rider is bonded to a dragon who was previously <clears throat> bonded to a family member, they have a chance of going insane or developing a second signet. Yeah. So scale, like, so they're saying that Zayden didn't develop a second signet then, right? Like that's what says he didn't go insane. But what if he also went insane? Maybe he could do both, yeah. Develop a second signet and go insane. Because that would be better. Yeah. Um, also, Solas? It's up with Solas. The dragon that shows up in the cave to kill them all? I'm confused about him. So we killed Varish, but Solas like, still is mad about this or something? Oh, um, I get that Solas might be pissed about Violet just because of Tern, because he's pissed off at Tern, so he wants to like you know uh, make him angry by killing Violet, whatever. But first of all, how did he even know where they are? Like out of nowhere, randomly, when they have this random, random mission to the cave that only came up once in the whole time they're being there. He shows up at the cave that is also super random in the mountains. <laughs> it's just nah. I I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, like ah, uh, I, I no. It's so many just confusing elements, stories that don't really get together, and this is one of them. Like Solo showing up at the cave. Why? Why? Go live your dragon so life. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Wait. The only thing is, maybe no, that's not. He's not venom. I was gonna say maybe there's like a venom on their mm. team that's like causing this to happen. But these are like all they're pretty. They know each other pretty well. This squad now, so it's not like a random yeah. group of people, unless it's one of the flyers. But I don't think so. So I'm like, nah. Like how would they call a dragon their flyers? So yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're mad about that. Um, of course. Here we go. Fifty four. This is where Vicia dies. Mm. Of course. Of um, course. Yeah. Um, 
then so, you want to go continue or should I? <laughs> okay, you, you go with Adarna. Adarna showing up. Yeah, so... Poor uh, Adarna. So, she's just yeah, a little... She's just trying to help, you know. Uh, so when Dana shows up, she throws herself at Solas, actually manages to kill him. And then now, however, she is a dragon slayer, right? So this is not... Um, yeah. Well perceived under the dragons killing each other, but later on, I think we uh, of course. we we get to know that she is not being punished or anything, and that it was definitely like defending also Violet, whatever. Solas was an ass anyway, so nobody's I think sad about him being being gone. Nobody's mad. No, definitely not. Nobody likes Solas. Um. Uh. Yeah. Sorry. And then Sloane Sloane gets her signet, so she's a mm. siphon. That's cool, yeah. I guess. Yeah. We learn why later. It's good that she's just she's that. Um, uh, but just just a question, like, what exactly is a siphon? Because this word is being thrown around in fantasy books, and it's always something else. Like in Akutar, siphon I imagine as little gems or like drinkables they have so they oh, um, yeah. so they like you yeah, know yeah. uh make their power stronger is it that the same with her just that she has this power in her no okay then explain it to me please to the siphon? to the okay. european girl <laughs> siphon is something that takes power from another ah like if that makes sense she just takes other people's power she can siphon it she can steal it Ah, and then she can also use it. Like, let's say she siphons it from yeah. Violet, and then she can use, like, she can use uh, lightning. Then yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if she can use lightning. She can take their. I don't know if she can use their signet, but she can take their power. And I'm not sure, like, what if she's able, to, like, I don't know. She could drain someone of power, but I'm not sure if she can use it. Like what she can use it for. We haven't. We figured out that she can use it to put in something else, but mm. we have to figure out what else she can do with it. Yeah. So, okay. I, I don't know. We learn with the stone or the ward. She can put it into the ward. So I don't know if she has ability to like store it in her. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And let it out. So we'll, okay. we'll find that out. All right. Um, and then, okay, <laughs> I, Zayden and Violet's relationship. I'm so confused. <laughs> Like, they have this, like, toxic relationship. I think they have a toxic relationship. They Absolutely. have so many trust issues. Like, what is happening? Yeah. Also, like, they they what? are toxic, Jess. But toxic relationships is nothing new in a fantasy, romantic book world, right? But this is toxic, yeah. annoying. And like this childish toxic, like it doesn't even make sense. That they're mad at each other. It's just, gosh, just get over with this. It's, ah, uh, I don't like. I, 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 I will say it now. I don't like the relationship. I don't like them as a pair. Sorry, it's just out there now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I would add. I feel like Violet doesn't trust Satan at all. Like that's the problem. He has no trust for him. Her him. But do you know what I mean? Like but, she I feel like, Yeah. Go ahead. Huh? No, no, I just feel like there's such trust issues on her side. I'm like that's annoying me. But because they're supposed to be together. Like Yeah, yeah. That. But do you like in your opinion, does it make sense why Violet is is not trusting him? Tricks. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, you met this guy in under a year, or maybe two. I don't know, and you expect to know every single detail and corner from this person. Like this is coming with time, which is happening. Also, like yeah. in time, you will learn about each other. Uh, so why, like, like personally, I do not understand why she's she's mad at him for not saying everything in one go in one evening about his whole life. 
Uh, and also, he's just trying to protect her. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, let's get over with this. It's not not going anywhere. Moving <laughs> on. Chapter 55. Um, mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's so just you, a continuation. Yeah, yeah. That that's just a continuation of fifty four. So, uh, so yeah. At the end of fifty four, they uh, so Zayden says that he knows that she knows about the deal that he made with the pilot's mother about the scars. So in fifty five, they just continue this fight about who is asking who what like. You have to ask me first. I don't want to ask you. Can you please just tell me? No, you have to ask. It's like, oh, God. Uh, in that fight, also, Violet figures out, this is the moment where the bomb drops that figures out that Xayden has a second signet. And we all, at this point, I think we all knew what it was because uh, I think one of the podcast ladies out there, I'm sorry, I don't know the name yet, but uh, she predicted it. And it was a pretty good prediction. Yeah. Like there were so many, so many uh, signs that he is an intrinsic, definitely. So uh, that yeah. happened. And also while they I were think fighting, our problem. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. No, 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 no go I was ahead. Go say ahead. for the intrinsic thing, I think that when I read it, the problem was that I always assumed it was Violet mm. who was like reading it, but it was always like dated. If that makes yeah. sense. Like he, okay, he would answer her questions in his mind. Like he would answer her, right? And we just assumed that was the bond. Yeah, but it wasn't the bond. It was because he's an intrinsic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless you. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um, yeah. So while they're fighting, also Brennan comes up and says, "Hey, why are not coming? Uh, you gotta stop fighting now because we got our problems." So we go to chapter 56, where they actually raise the wards with uh, each dragon den. Now it makes sense, though. Like, not the random powerful yeah. riders, just six powerful riders. No, it's each of the dragons type. Uh, definitely makes sense. Yeah. Then, hey, we are fighting already for cool. three chapters. So in the middle of the attack, they go at the border or like the, the cliff to check if they're actually like the words are, are working. And while they're waiting, <laughs> they continue fighting. Like, oh God. Anyway, uh this is where actually we find out that Xaden is a type of intrinsic, so he can only read intentions. Uh and yeah, Violet of course is super mad at this because she feels violated that he maybe has read any, you know. Not thoughts, but like her with his his uh, signet, and then while there are, you know, yeah, sorry. No, I was gonna say okay. My issue with this is that we're so mad at Dane. Dane is so <laughs> in the dumps to being able to read people's minds, and Zayden over here is yeah. reading Violet, <laughs> and we're not mad. Nobody's mad. I mean, they're mad, but they're not that mad. Yep. Dane? Actually, yeah. Dane, the first. Yeah, right? Yeah. So. What were you well, saying with Dane? I feel bad for Dane. Yeah. Like, it's not really fair that he has to go through all this. Mm. Just because he, like, he's, like, new to the signet and, like, didn't know. And then he read her mind and told his dad. Told his dad, you know, like. Not that bad. Like, how was he supposed to know? <laughs> and that, yeah. Jaden doesn't tell Violet. Anyways. Where, where, where is the fairness in this? Actually, you're right. Like, Dave is just trusting his own father. Right? Okay, it's his family. I get it when he's saying, "Hey, I have this memory I read. Uh, you're my dad. <laughs> you made me. I want to tell you this thing." Uh, but it's okay for Xayden yeah. to, you know, do his thing. I mean, he says that he never read Violet. But, I mean, he did, because he always kind of, like, answered. Right? He read her, right? Like, yeah. come on. Like, there's no, like, what do you mean he never read her? 
What do you mean? <laughs> Liar. Anyway, yeah, I don't see I don't see the fairness in this because Dane did not deserve this at all. Like right now, I'm definitely. Mm-mm. If you can, if you can forgive Xayden this Dane. fast, you should for- forgive Dane as well. Anyway, so uh, the vibrant try to attack. Apparently, the words work because they all, like the ones that fly through, uh, fall to die, and then the men retreat, and then they come back to yeah. Erethria just to find out that the Griffins actually not the Griffins, but the Rider. No, the what is it called? The Flyers. Uh, still have their Flyers? power. Yeah. So it looks like, uh, yeah, the words are not not that 100% correct or whatever, uh, which we will find out later also why. Um, 57. Mm. This one, I just want to add this note, but in the last 10 chapters, more happened in the last 10 chapters than in the whole freaking start of the book. (laughs) It's so funny how quick it was. Yeah. But it was, I like, feel... good. Okay, Sorry, were... yeah. Uh-huh. No, no, go ahead. No, no, it was good. But I feel like maybe we read too much Sarah J. Math, where it's, like, like uh, the book is, like, four times as big, I feel. Because you mm. can, like, she would p- take time on each of, like, the kind of events in this. Like, being at the Griffin's lair, or the Griffin's house, like, she would spend, like, 20 chapters on that. And 20 chapters being at the school. And 20, like, you know, like, it was more. Yeah. Whereas this one's, like, one chapter, the Venom attack. We defeated them. <laughs> chapter two, Melgren read the trophy. You know, so, like, 57. Like, General Mag- Melgren, out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's a battle coming. coming. There. We need your help. True. Yeah, like, come true, help, true. Come help. Um, but, which is but... interesting that he... Uh-huh. No, no, sorry. I was, I was just, uh, I just wanted to ask, what do you prefer reading though? Like, do you like this, uh, taking the, um, taking the time and reading through everything, or do you like this? Okay, bam, 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 bam. This and this and this and happen. I feel like this book is more of like a binge book. Like where we went wrong is we read it in sections and like talked about it. But mm. I think we would have a better rating of it if we just binged it in one go, because then. Like the boring parts wouldn't seem. It would just seem like if you read it all at once, you wouldn't think about it, right? You would just be yeah, like, "Oh, true. that was good." Like, like when you read these last twenty chapters, it was like, "Oh, this is good. This is so good." Like so much happened. Yeah. Whereas when you read it slowly, you notice that it's like, oh. <laughs> like you think about it, and you're like, "This doesn't make sense." The way the way you describe it is is like <laughs> the, the slower you read. <laughs> the more you realize that the book isn't actually that good. So you just have to binge through to actually, oh, sorry, to actually like it. But I think you're right with this one because it's well, made, maybe it's made to binge. It's not what? made to be read in, like, we're reading this like for months now. So maybe that, yeah, maybe that shaped our opinion too, our so, reading style. I would like, yeah, I know this is like rough for you, but like we need to read it one more time, like fast, <laughs> like okay. all at once, and then we give it a second rating. And I would be curious if other people read it slowly, if they thought like this book isn't as good. Because I think if I binged it, I would rate this book really high because of how much action was at the end. You forget about mm. the beginning if I read mm. it in a day. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Let's try that. All right, uh, chapter yeah. 57. Do you want to take over? Should I? No, you go. No, you go. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, we get a message from General Melgren. Uh, we are at the person's house, and, you know, he's asking... He's asking them for aid and help because he's seen that the Vibrant will attack uh, and that they will lose. So he asked the revolution to help him. Uh, so they go yeah. on and meet him and his minions, including Violet's mom. Um, they have a little discussion. Like, it looks like they don't want to help. And then suddenly, I like this part actually. It was a, it was kind of cool that Brennan showed up 
out of nowhere and like Violet's mom or their mom is just wait a second my son is alive after six years or almost seven now so that was a a bold yeah. move just to show up and be like hey mom what's up uh <laughs> um but yeah so they discuss and the end of the story is they will not help Melgren because they don't trust him um and then they all go away Melgren is super angry Violet's mom stays behind and actually gives Violet the journal from Lyra that she was trying to steal before she got tortured. Uh, and she also says, yeah. which is an interesting info, that she says Warwick wanted to keep his power, so he was lying in his journal. But Lyra said, like, was the only one that actually said the truth. So that that's why uh, yeah. she brought the journal. which. Again, are uh, so convenient that they were, you know, translating the wrong journal and suddenly the right one appears and saves everybody. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Well, yeah. We talked about this. We talked about them being independent journals and that the other one probably was right and like had the information yeah. we needed, blah, blah, blah. And they were going to compare it. But I thought they'd have to fight for it. Like, this journal yeah. just like, you go on a silver platter. <laughs> you need this. Yeah. It's no problem. We'll give it to you. You only needed to have, like, the king's blood to get into it and got <laughs> tortured for a week over getting it. But here, now it's easy access. Yeah, you know what would be cool? That they would go uh, um, sneak back to Biscaya and try to get it again. Like, that would be cool. Or uh, what else? Like, I don't know. Just get the information so much cooler than just his her mom coming over and, you know, here's a nice journal for you. Read it. Okay, thanks. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, um, so 58. A lot oh, yeah. Or this is like 58 <laughs> through to 66. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. For, now for, we'll like, back to the last seven chapters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, little disclaimer. Uh, here, our motivation to actually summarize the chapters left us. So um, we kind of like just <laughs> dumped all information in one list. So from now on, it's all chapter 58 until chapter uh, 65, including 65. So let's just get into it. So, um, okay. Yeah, so they got back at. Was Gaiad after you know they met Malgren. Violet, of course, has to continue to fight with Zayden, but then kind of like forgives him, lets him know that she loves him, even with his signet. And um oh yeah, and we 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 learn about Zayden's mom that she just disappeared and never came back. Oh, I didn't pick up on this one. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Is it? Zayden's mom, uh, Ben. I thought the same just now. I oh, uh, I hope so much Ben material here. Zayden's <laughs> right mom, Ben. We're calling it. So right now, all the predictions around uh, Imperia and uh, the Imperian series is just who's a Venon? Okay, he's a Venon. No, she's a Venon. Oh, he's also a Venon. <laughs> That's all the predictions now. Uh, that Venom, would be cool, and though. You're a Venon. Yeah. It would be. So, um, so the reason they realize that the wards have to be protected, right? Because the only way that the Venon can get to Basgaeth is if the wards fall. And the, this is where the dragons are hatching, so it must be protected. Everyone wants to protect it. The dragons want to protect it. Um, and then they disagreed, so s- some of the riders head to Vizgaia from the rebellion, and the flyers stay behind. Um, yeah. Yeah, so they arrive there. Um, notice that... Yeah. Oh, wait, first they, they realized that... <clears throat> That the Venon and Vibrants were just bluffing. Like they said it would attack at Samara, but they yeah. actually were planning to to attack Vizgaia, so that's why they went there. 
and not where Melgren was because when they arrive at Bisgayat, Melgren, like they, they notice that Melgren has pulled like all his military personnel. Like nobody is, almost nobody's at Bisgayat except uh, Violet's mom and like what, a few scribes and um, infantry. Yeah. Uh, so they're all at yeah. Samara. Mm. Uh, so it's undefended and there's only. Yeah, this sorry. Dumb. Yeah. This was dumb because they were like, this is where the wards are. This is, if you make this guy fall, then everyone falls. You can just take over the whole freaking Navarre. So I'm like, yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah. I also don't get um, why Melgren is going there even though he knows he will lose. Like, isn't that what he's for? When he knows they're losing a, a, a fight, they just don't go there? Right? <laughs> Please. <laughs> make <laughs> make <laughs> sense to it, Jess. <laughs> We're not the right people to, to like, decipher what this meant i think is this because the the ones with the the marked ones went so maybe he can't see the outcome now he's thinking because the rebellion Mm. kids are there he like his outcome will be wrong because there's rebellion relics and he can't see the outcome of a war yeah there's rebellion relics there yeah i see i see um all right so oh i love this so Go this ahead. is the best part about this whole chapter, or this little thing. General Sorengale yeah. is convinced the wards are fine. She's convinced that everything is fine. Nobody's going to attack this guy. She's like, no way they're going to attack the wards. No way. <laughs> Even though they know that if the wards fall, they can take this guy. And yeah. <laughs> this is what's wild to me. Jack Barlow is still a character in this book. <laughs> Uh, and he's venom. Yep. Like so. And yeah. I killed his dragon. Like first of all, his dragon. I'm confused about his dragon. Did he not know his rider's venom? There are so many questions, just like so many questions. <laughs> that? So, didn't the dragon know? Okay. Mm-hmm. No, no, tell. go ahead. No, no, okay. So, the thing is, is that also Scale knows that Zayden Venom. So, she's not doing anything either because they're True. like, I guess when you're bonded, the relationship. But it's kind of different because Scales been with Zayden for like years, and Jack Barlow with his was with his dragon for like three months and then died. Like true. What? Actually, I just had a thought. Um, just okay. So they keep bonding to their mm-hmm. venom riders when they become venom, right? What if just what if Tern? Is still bonded to Nolan when he turned Venom, but they never really, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think Nolan's Venom, so you're right. Yeah, so maybe uh, he's still. Yeah, so maybe Taren actually abandoned him, but never like they can't break up the bond. But then, that would make sense, right? I don't know. Let's see if that really comes true. This Get is it. a this is a shaky prediction, but I roll with it. Why not? Warfest. Yeah, still bonded to <laughs> Nolan. But another question I had is also somehow how Jack... sorry, yeah. how did Jack kill a dragon no, no. this easy? He just like put a dagger in what was it? The shoulder? That's it? That's all it takes to kill a freaking dragon? Doesn't make sense. I'm and sorry. It does not he's make venom. sense. He's yeah. inside. He's inside the ward set. So he's not super powerful venom. He's like weak venom. And he can just kill his dragon. No problem. No problem. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Many oh, questions. Yeah. Many questions. Also, oh, <laughs> another yeah. question. Yeah. Okay, why yeah, did? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Why did they keep Jack Bauer around? Okay. Do they wanted to experiment with him or like? Right? Why is he still there? When he's a freaking venom. Why they, is he not locked up? Yeah. Why is he not locked up? He they kill intrinsic people, oh, their shit. own intrinsic people, like right away. They see a freaking venom and they're like, let's keep him. Let's keep him like a pet and trust him. Wow. Trust a venom. Anyway, doesn't also doesn't make sense. And also, sorry, this whole thing brought so many emotions in me. Also, in that moment, Violet realizes that Nolan was mending an actual soul when he said it. But I thought that was, like, obvious. So she didn't realize it until yeah. this point. It's like, oh, come on. Violet, you're, you're supposed to be a scribe. And then oh, not oh God, notice sorry, this. Don't, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> this is a... I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do I have alarms? Okay, sorry. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. We can cut it here. 55, 55. Okay. No, okay. Sorry. To yeah. add on. Yeah. Who your thoughts about Nolan and mending a soul? Brennan is gonna mend Zayden's soul. I'm calling it. Ah, uh, you're calling that? Interesting. So, yeah. in general, you think. Zayden will be, uh, how do you say it? Like, will be uh, safe? Yeah. Ah. It's gonna be mended. Okay, I'll, I'll write that down. Interesting, because my prediction, probably not coming true, because the book is just too nice, but I have some badass predictions that would be so cool. <laughs> But at the end, at the end. I don't want it. Okay. Um, so, anyways, they incapacitate uh, Jack. Mm. You know, they get him down. Um, and then they have to battle, of course. The wards are down. Yep. And, of course, in the nick of time, Brennan shows up with the flyers, ready to save the day. <laughs> Love it. Wait. It um, cat attacks. Yeah. Okay. Did I miss something? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, no, I did no, miss no. something. What? Yeah. No, 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 I didn't miss anything. So the battle, the venom show up. They kill a lot, lot of Weverin and some venom. Sawyer's yep. leg gets ripped off. I was like, this is brutal. This was brutal. <laughs> so he lost a leg. Honestly, I, <laughs> I really, I think I'm really the darker person in this podcast because I thought, honestly, I thought somebody will die. I I wouldn't think like one of the mains like Re, but I really thought Sawyer is perfect. Like he has a perfect potential to die now as one of the closest friends. Like he he wasn't that mentioned that often, but like he's still part of the group. Also <laughs> thought Cat would die. Like, somebody will die, but all I oh. get is a ripped-off leg. That's all I got. It's like, okay, sure. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So cat attacks. It's okay. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. But Adarna's, Adarna's camouflage, right? Also, now we learned Adarna can camouflage earlier. And then cat attacks a venom by amplifying his emotions so i guess her skill is yep. pretty good actually <laughs> yep and adarna kills him and of course with no i thought no less than jasenia <laughs> she figured out how to raise the wars <laughs> yeah who else than jasenia six types of course so i didn't expect this there are seven types of dragons yeah or yeah, yeah, seven so, types of dragons and Adarna, uh yeah. Adarna's a special. I did not expect okay, we kind of predicted Adarna would be a special dragon. Then we thought she was a black yeah. dragon. I really thought she yeah. was a black dragon. But she's actually a special dragon who waited six hundred and fifty years to be hatched. 
So how do dragons hatch? They can like see people. Maybe they can go in their dreams or something. I think uh, she mentioned that briefly later on. She said that she heard the elders talk about uh, Violet Soringale coming to whatever, and that's that's when she waited and decided to to hatch because she was listening from her egg or whatever. So I think she was just listening to the dragons around her. But yeah, uh, so we kind of like that. That's a little confusing because we kind of like uh, find out that Andarna is a special dragon, but like what kind of dragon we still don't know, right? She can camouflage and change her appearance, right? So she was always black because she wanted to be like mm-hmm. Tern, because this is uh, the dragon she was looking up to. But is she yeah. like, what's her den? Is it iridescent? Is it like, is she actually, can she be transparent too? I, I want to know, like, what's her den? I think she has, she's a chameleon dragon. Mm. So That's cool, like, actually. Yeah, she can change colors. Yeah. But I don't, it's what? cool that she's hatched this late, but why is there only one of her? Why are there only one of her? We we don't get to ask questions for Andarna at this this end of the book. Like there's so many things now we want to know, but it just there's no time for it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like she must be special then. So, also the thing is, is that Violet realizes that she's a special dragon, I guess, and mm. that if they choose to raise the wards in Eurasia. They cannot, or they cannot raise the wards in Eurasia if they raise them in Basgaya, because there's only yeah. one Adarna. I don't know why there's yeah. only one Adarna. I don't understand this. Um, and dragon, they can only ignite one ward stone, which is also interesting. So this might be why the wards were not ignited in Eurasia, because all these dragons went extinct, like before they could raise them. Ah, like something happened with the venom, or something happened, and all these like chameleon dragons died off. And Adarna was the last hatchling of them. True. Maybe maybe we'll get back to Violet's dad because he was researching something. Maybe he did find out about this but didn't share. So maybe we'll actually get some yes. some father moment in the next book because yeah, right? Yeah. I, mean, I think yeah. That's yeah. what we predicted in this book. Yeah. We maybe this we are book still about the feather tail research. Yeah, yeah. So maybe our prediction is still right, just in the wrong moment. Like the next book, our prediction comes true. Ooh, (laughs) let's do it. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So, anyways, Adarna's a special dragon, of course. Of Um, course. She. Okay, this was so dumb. They were like, "Oh, Zayden, we can't raise them in Eurasia if we don't do it here." And I'm like, "You have this note too. You have to raise it here. You will die if you don't raise it here." (laughs) Like, come on. But then, like, I kind of like. I, I mean, yeah, they would die, but I think, uh, actually, yeah, they would die because they wouldn't flee to Eurasia to let everybody behind them. Because I do get the dilemma because Eurasia yeah. is Zayden's home. Like, this is where they have camp. But then again, like they wouldn't leave Basgia to to the Vyvern and and Venon anyway, so they do have to. Like, there's no other choice actually. She's just nice and asking him for his solution. Yeah. Of course. I didn't expect this was good. You're right. You wanted someone to die. Someone died for you, Leah. Um, <laughs> so she realizes she can raise the word with seven types of dragons. Um, Violet's mom uses Sloan yeah. as a conduit. Yeah. So Violet's mom's like, you know what? We don't have time to put all the power in this screw it because violet was gonna die she was gonna put all of her power into the ward stone Mm -hmm. but she decided not to so she general soaring yell was you know what i'm gonna put all my power and power my dragons into this ward stone by using sloan and sloan doesn't like have control of her signet i'm guessing so that's how she like got yeah it's kind of messed up her mom sacrificed herself to raise the ward stone yeah and i was like oh yeah, I don't so know. Like it was, it's that was nice, I guess. Yeah, 
thanks mom that that was nice <laughs> i was just sad a little for and brandon because he was he was you know crying out that she shouldn't do it even though i thought he wouldn't care like at the end he did care and he didn't want his mom to die it's like oh now you probably feel bad about not you know anyway what were you saying <laughs> my other no my other issue with it is like we did now lose all of general soaringale's knowledge which would have been really interesting with the dad and stuff. Like, I kind of wanted that dynamic where, like, he got information yeah. out of her. Yeah. Like, now we just killed that whole, like, information out of her. So she's happy to be back with her, their dad and whatever. Yeah. Um, that was a little sad. And, yeah. <laughs> but it's cool that um, Andarna can do the, like, what is Andarna? That's the biggest question out of this book is, yeah. like, what is she? What and is she? Then, because at this point, so Zayden's battling that super powerful then, and he's about to lose. The battle is about to end, but it ends because they raise the wards, mm. right? They're like effectively repelling everyone. And this is the best part of this book. And of course, it was a cliffhanger. Yep. <laughs> right? It is so good. Okay, so Violet goes. Okay, Violet goes to find Zayden. Sigail, I was like, there's something up. As soon as Sigail said, be gentle yeah. with him, I was like, this is this is not good. Something has happened. Um, Violet is confused, and Xayden refuses to look her in the eye, and I was like, oh, something <gasps> bad happens. Um, he turned men in. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah. Um, oh, that was a was freaking so plot twist. <laughs> so good we thought yeah. Violet, so our predictions were wrong in every regard because we said yeah. Violet would be everything and it turned out that Zayden was always everything but I think I, I did some predictions somewhere in the last episodes not prediction but I hoped that Zayden will turn bad this is kind of like a little bit into this <laughs> Because, like, maybe, because that's why I ask you, do you think Zayden's soul will be mended by Brennan? Because I think he will stay Venom. He will not fight it. Not that he will fight it, but, like, he will lose the fight with the power. He will turn more and more evil. And then Violet will turn Venom too because of love, like the other Venom predicted. And they both will be Venoms then. Yeah. That would be so cool. Oh my god. The, the, mm-hmm. the whole story will turn. The whole thing will turn. I, I really I really hope this is happening. This is the outcome I want as well. I think yeah. we're going the opposite way. They're going <laughs> to mend all the Venom souls. All the Venom are going to turn good. And then of course. it's going to be happily ever after. <laughs> oh. I think I even so. like wrote down but at they, the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I I wrote that. Honestly, I hope Zayden just turns evil, but the book so far made everything good, so I guess he will find a way around it and live on it. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see. It could be he stays evil. Um, also, chapter 66. Yeah. To wrap it up, the book ends with Zayden asking Jack Barlow how to get to back to being normal. And Jack says there's no fear. But I just want to add, he woke up with Violet. So Violet's, like, not... Like, she's still sleeping with him and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, But... Oh. There's also so many questions. I want to know, like, how did she... How did she... You know? How is she now sleeping in one bed with him? Like, where... How, how did this jump happen? Because... Just a chapter before, she was screaming, no, 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 and whatever, and was, like, super shocked. In the next chapter, she sleeps in the same bed. There's too much. I want to know. I don't know. This is what I don't understand. Yeah. I don't get this. This is what I'm like. So, okay. I think we should just write this book. So, next one, we'll, next episode, <laughs> we'll do predictions, right? Like, on what happens yeah. on Iron, or the next book. The next and maybe book, we yeah. can, like, 
process it a bit more when we've heard yeah. each other's opinions and everything because I really want to build on our theories like we have our theories now so let's build on them for the next one because I think everyone it's more interesting to hear like what our thoughts are on the next what one think yeah. gonna happen or why this happened but um yeah I'm sorry this book for me it's a three point <laughs> five out of five what what about you I- Okay, that's okay. What was yours lower? We're not the we're not the rating because yeah, I would rate it lower. I would rate it lower. I thought like a three. Okay. I almost want to go down to a two point five, but like the end, the, the end chapters save the book, so I say it's a three, three out of five. Okay. So okay. yeah, pretty low. Stay for the end. Yeah. So yeah. That that's the overall rating. Uh, rating for darkness. What would you say? Two. Yeah. <laughs> Not like the torturing scenes were like the darkest part of the whole book, and that wasn't even that dark. So yeah, two out of five. Don't expect too much darkness from Iron Flame. Uh yeah. Wow, spice. <laughs> You you gotta go with this one because my rating will be low as hell. <laughs> I'm giving it three point five. From what? Two. That's too nice of you. That's really too nice of you. Two point two out of five. Like bruh, that is just not doing it for me. I didn't like it in the first book. It got worse in the second. I can't tell you why though, because I just. There's something about Zayden that is just still too lovey-dovey. He he's not staying in his character throughout the book. He's just suddenly like this romantic guy, and then not it's like ah oh, no, no. Mm-mm. No, uh, no sir. Yeah, I knew you were gonna give it a low one. Enemies to lovers like zero. There was no yeah. enemy to lover. It was just like romantic bickering. True, true. Uh, mystery and plot twists. That could be a higher rating. What did you say? Four. It was pretty good. I mean, the end. It was the end that redeemed this book so hard. Yeah. I think the end really saved it, but... Okay. The next book can't live off the end of the chapters again like the next book needs to be properly like you know what what i mean like there has to be Mm -hmm. more to it yeah yeah no i i hate to compare it to akatar all the time but it's like there was no like planning there was no like super secret stuff that set up super secret stuff in the future (laughs) yeah so like in the moment always like they were doing yeah. plan strategically they were just always running around like we're gonna go here <laughs> we're gonna go there yeah 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 right. so yeah absolutely agree agree so that's why i if the next book is again living off the plot twist i will write the plot twist lower because it can't be that every book is you know only at the end getting really exciting anyway uh yeah slow burn i don't know like minus minus 10 like there's no (laughs) there's none (laughs) yeah i don't even care if this is like an unpopular opinion about this book say it say it say it i don't know like it's an unpopular opinion this book just wasn't that good like I'm sorry, yeah, but it was okay, and I think we're, we're gonna read it in one go. Like I said, we'll read it in one go, no pauses, and we'll see if we get a different rating. Mm-hmm. Like maybe before we do predictions, I don't know if we want to do predictions right away or if we should read it again. But I, I struggle with this one. I struggle too, because even though I think yeah, the reading speed might add a little bit to like how you feel about the book. There's still some things that I also didn't like in the first book, which is the main character's relationship. And and I and I read this kind of quick. Like you read it already and I don't know, like it's just um, 
in my opinion, a book should be good, whether you're reading it slow or fast. Like, this should not make up how you perceive the book, right? Yeah. So, yeah. But I agree. I agree. It's really, it's okay-ish. It's, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I have mixed feelings about this. Like, I'm really, <laughs> that's so mean. But I'm really, really glad going back to Sarah J. Mass now because... <laughs> The next books we're going to cover here are from her again. So I'm like, yeah, I'm freaking down for that because this is where the action happens. <laughs> um, no, especially Crescent City. So yeah, I think next time we will do our predictions on the third book. We'll have yeah. a chance to like de- de- digest what we each thought about this book. And then, yeah. um, so I would watch the next episode to see our predictions. And then Sarah J. Mass is the next season. Yeah, next season we're going to Crescent City uh, number one. Guys, it's... I don't want to give away too much, but I really, really loved recording this. Like, it was so, so, so fun. Uh, And I can't wait to continue with Crescent City 2. Also, Crescent City 3 is coming in January, so we're, like, trying to catch up to that to be uh, when the release is there. So let's see. But yeah. Yeah, we struggle with this, so hopefully. That was a struggling book, yeah. <laughs> right. But uh, you're right. Um, Next one will be predictions and like just theories, and then we're yeah we're through with this. This is it. We're done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like thanks right. for watching. You guys made it to the end. Like congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. If Thank you, you for listening. That we were. If you think that we were so wrong in rating this book so bad, let us know. <laughs> you know, I'll take the hate comments. Uh, we'll just I'll know. take also, the fire for it. We can talk <laughs> about it. No, you know what, Jess? People have opinions. People have opinions about books. It's fine. Maybe we even find, like, you know, friends over this common opinion about this book. But uh, also let us know if you think... Uh, we should dissect the books in such parts or would you like us to do less parts m- maybe even more parts uh do you want us to rate the whole book in one uh that would be interesting to know because like the way we do it now we just dissect it by like three or four parts so yeah if you made it until here let us know in the social media in the internet <laughs> and we can work on that yeah that'd be great Thanks, guys. Bye.